We're joined by Vic Victorian Ryan Ruffles, who's uh, having a, a mixed week here this week. Ryan playing some really good golf, but running into some really tough in talent at number one. Yeah, exactly. It's always going to be tough at number one. You're kind of up against it. Had a good win against T-Mac uh, earlier in the week and just kind of come up against some hot uh, opponents since then. So Jared, just a little bit too good today too. How do you deal with that personally? I mean, you've been in such great winning form and, you, and you're golfing, you know, still really well, but obviously people lift to play you at the moment. So uh, how, do you com how do you compose yourself to do that? Exactly. I think with how I've been playing, I'm starting to play a little bit better. I've kind of got a bit of a target on my back, I guess, sometimes playing at the number one position and just something i got to deal with. And I kind of dealt with it pretty well at the junior level, but it's pretty hard. I mean, these guys are all playing pretty good. We had a cracker of a match against uh, against Jared. I played really well. He just played a little bit better. So you have those sort of things at number one and I guess the top few spots too. So just kind of luck of the draw really, I guess. You've been around on this scene for a couple of years now. People forget, and I'm just going to spill the beans on you here. It's your 17th birthday today. So <laughs> firstly, happy birthday. Thank is you. It, is it hard work for you considering you know you are these tender years coming up against some older guys yeah it's tough I mean it's this year is hard for me because I've got so much school work to do with year 12 I kind of got to get that out of the way and so I'm not really practicing as much as I'd like to because I got to try and get my exams done and try and do good there too so this year I'm kind of it's it's a hard one but I'm still trying to work as hard as I can and uh, trying to compete with these guys that are a little bit older but yeah it's still lots of fun so so mate, you come off a fantastic couple of months, haven't you, really? Let's talk about that a little bit. Your junior, uh, first of all, you've gone back to back in the Australian Junior yeah. Championship. What does that make you, must make you very proud? Yeah, I knew I had a chance um, after winning last year. And if I knew if I won this year, I kind of had a chance to get three, which no one's done yet. Um, so to win this year and kind of do it in pretty commanding fashion, it was good because I wanted to kind of separate myself from the other juniors a little bit and make it pretty clear that I was one of the better ones. and. I was able to do that, and now if everything or hope, if everything goes really well, hopefully I make it to the Masters and can't play Aussie Junior next year. But if if not, then I'm looking to see if I can win three, and that'd be a lot of fun for me. Two good alternatives. Yeah, exactly. Win-win. So mate, just walk us through. You you, you were a shot of 65, 66 uh, last day in, in one day, 36 holes, uh, 13 under at Kuyonga. Something that hasn't been done there before. Yeah, it was just like I said. I felt. Yeah, I felt like I could have run away from the field a little bit in those first two rounds and didn't. Didn't putt quite as well as I wanted to. And then I made it a bit of a goal, not just to win on the last day, but really separate myself from the field and mm. turned in six under on that front nine on the first day. And from there, it was pretty cruisy. I um, actually dropped dropped a shot late on a really easy hole to shoot seven under. And then in the afternoon, I knew I just had to avoid anything really bad. And I actually shot another good round, so it was good. Yeah. So I know that you're, you're a really big you know, team sports player too, not just golf, you love all your team sports. Well, how, big, how big was it for you then to back up in the Victorian junior team and for that to do so well? Yeah, week? I mean, it's great. We've been, we've been a strong force in Victorian golf for the last couple of years now, and I've been very lucky to be a part of that. And just being able to win it the year before, so commanding, and then having the new, all the new guys come up. Uh, I don't think, I think I was the only one from last year that was on the team this year. And to do that again and win against all the other states again was awesome for Victorian golf and awesome for me individually just to... I mean, be a part of a winning team, it's just a bit more special. Now, I, th I understand you were roughly 28 under through the 115 holes of that yeah. one week. But more, th and that included a, what, a hole in one in a practice round, not that yeah. the score counted there. But yeah. You've had another couple of aces since, have you? Yeah, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's just the ball's been going in lately. Uh, it started out at Royal Melbourne, I hold out twice in a round of golf, and but it wasn't done for hole in ones, and I kind of text uh, Luke Mackey who's our strength and conditioning coach and he said oh don't do that you're going to waste them all for the rest of the year and then I had a hole in one at it Kuyonga and then hold two bunker shots in the tournament and then chipped in in one of the match play rounds to have a match and then had another hole in one against Lucas Herbert and Pennant to win the match and then had another hole in one at Victoria and it just kind of I don't know I guess when they're going in they're going in I wouldn't mind one this week but 